Hello students. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Is there a human out there? Okay, so now we're talking about your project, your final project. So I started building one. But there's a similar project of the goldfish. And I thought we'd go through it so that, you know, little by little we'll make it more and more detailed. Um, the first part really is about getting the fish together in, in two geometric shapes. One geometry will be, you know, uh, well, an ellipse, and the other geometry will be a, uh, what we call, you know, like a quad, well, I used a quadrilateral, they used a triangle. So uh, let's go back to that. Let's see. Let me go over to Roboblockly and say, uh, See which one? Oh, this one here is the. Uh, I wonder why it's so far off. Well, I can pull it up like this. Yeah. Um, what is this one? <laughs> I didn't even see it. Oh yeah. Okay. Let me. Oh. Uh, let me download. A file. So let me reset. And file. And then, oh, I gotta sign in. Okay. Alright, signed in. Now I'll go over here and say, uh, well, I don't need any of that. Let's, let, me, let me get rid of that. Yeah, okay. Now, now maybe I can get my file. So I go here and uh, I'm gonna upload. And the one I want has to do with, uh, is it goldfish? Yeah. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Okay. There we go. So let's run it. This is what I did. I like that. See, and I cause it to blink. So after this, I'm going to have like a, there'll be a bubble. That'll change size as it gets bigger coming out of the mouth. It shouldn't be too hard uh, because when a bubble comes out of the mouth, the fish is stationary. So the movement now will be instead of going moving in the x direction, the bubble will be moving up in the y direction, and it'll also be growing by like 10% for every unit it moves up. So that's that's pretty good. Now let's see. Uh, so let's start. And, um, okay, so what I'm going to do is, first of all, uh, as I stand, as as, a, it, as it's sitting right now, you can see that I'm on uh, 36 by 36, okay? So I'm going to put on my grid so we know what's going on. So I'll put my, oh, there's my x-axis and my y-axis. Then my x-axis and then the y-axis, see? Okay, I got that all. So this helps me. But now I'm going to get further back, like 1772, so I can actually work off stage. Because this thing starts at minus 12, you see, and goes to 24 on both the x and y axis. But I'm going to actually start working on the project off off stage. So I'm going to go over here so I can see what I'm doing. And then what I do is I'll um, first I'll say, okay, I'm going to have a stroke color width of 2. Okay, now. Uh, this is a a loop, and now I picked a variable x, right? So from minus 12, see it's starting here, even though this is minus 24 now because I changed the scale, but this will be off screen, this will be off stage. My stage is going to be from minus 12 to 24. See that? So, uh, I'm going to go like this, so I'm going to step through it. You'll see the color of the stroke, and now I'm going to start my loops. And minus 12 to 6 is, I hope you can see that that's six, six steps uh, of one unit long each. So step, right, and now, um, okay, notice that other background, I got it once entered over here down below. Look, right here. You see where it says background here? Okay, I have background there, and I have that, that same scene that you see now. But... Now when I do the loop, I put the scene again. Because when it loops around, it's going to cover up 
the last fish that was before it, <laughs> so that you don't see a whole stream of school of fish. Yeah. And so what I did is, uh, I marked uh, these are. The, I used a quad for the tail. And uh, see, and I know that x starts at minus twelve. So look, if x starts at minus twelve, and I add another twelve, that means my point is going to start way back in x equals minus 24. See? So all of these are going to be 12, 12. So the two points at the very back of the tail, the furthest back, are going to be minus, whatever, minus 12, minus 12. So the x is going to be minus 24. You're going to minus 24, negative 4, and minus 24, positive 4. And for the x, for the, for the, for the tail closest to the fish, instead of going back 12, I'm going to go back 4. So I'm going minus 12 plus and minus 4 is minus 16. So I have minus 16 and 2 and minus 16 and 2. And wait a minute, should that be 2? Um, okay, so no, no. No, no, because that's that's right up in the fish. Uh, that's the top part of the fish and bottom kind of fish. Okay. Then I have the ellipse, which is the fish itself, body. Uh, the, the quad is the tail. So as I step through like this, see, there's the tail, and there's the that point back here, the furthest point back here and down low, that's x, but remember x is starting at minus 12. So minus another thing, that takes it all the way to minus 24. And what is y? Minus 4, that's that point. The next point is minus 24 again, but now y is 4. Now up to the fish, right? Then we have x equals, on the fish, x, which starting there is minus 12, oops, yeah, minus 12, minus 4 is minus 16. So that's going to be 16 and 2, and 16 and 0. Now I'll go to my ellipse, right? So now I'm going to go to the ellipse, and here we go. It's like, I'll step. Okay, and there's the ellipse. Now, why do I have the x here, minus 1? Because x is minus 12, and I'm starting the center of my ellipse. One, one more negative than minus 12, in other words, minus 13. And so as x progresses from minus 12 to 6, all of these x's will change, and it'll look like the fish is moving up. But only to 6. 6 is right here, right about here. At this point, I'm going to stop when it gets here, and then I'm going to start... Um, causing the eyeball to look like it's blinking. And then as it blinks, it'll stop blinking, and then the fish will begin to move forward. And um, I also put in a shadow underneath, and I put some, uh, you know, I reduced the transparency. And then so, as far as I'm concerned, this, I mean, this is pretty good. The only thing I think I would be um, left to put on with this is, well, uh, you have a situation where when it stops at 6, you know, it's blinking, but I also want to release a bubble. So I have yet to do the bubble, and the bubble is the one that's going to grow as it gets bigger. Okay? And we'll work on that next. Right now I'm getting the fish across. Okay? And i got it all set up. And since they're all, remember, the X is going to be moving from minus 12 to 6. So both the tail and the ellipse are, have the X's in them. This only has one x. This is the width and the height. So, and then uh, I have this other guy here. That's this all. That is the tail, uh, right here. The quad is the tail. This the this is the ellipse. Is the body, and then this guy here. I have another ellipse, but I moved him. I'm moving him also x, but I'm lagging back a little bit. Eight instead of uh, well, here I had twelve, and here I had four, and then I'm going to center another another ellipse so that it looks like a shadow underneath I'll show you and I go there and one more yeah you see the shadow and now uh, I'm ready to go into um, so now we're going to go to you know this uh, the eyes so I step and then step and then I have the white and I have the circles hit. Then I have another circle. 
there. And then, um, then I have my delay. Okay, now I go into what we have to talk about. It's called an if. If x is even, that means if it's true, then do this. Put a quad ellipse, put an opacity and another ellipse, right? If it's false, if it's false, then you're going to skip from do, and you're going all the way down to where it says else. Okay? And, and else, then I also, basically, this, it, it looks complicated, but I keep putting the quad and the, that's the tail, and the body down in each section so it keeps showing up. So let's take a look at this guy. If you look at this guy, ah, excuse me, if you take a look at this guy and say, okay, uh, first of all, we have a loop. Okay, first we have an if else statement or if do statement, right? And which is logic up here. You'll see the logic. And then we have a count, a counter, I mean a loop that counts from one to six, but there's a random generator that's going to generate a one or a two. Okay, so what you have to look at this line as, look at this line as you're throwing the dice six times and and each time you're moving up you don't know if you're going to move up one or two depending on what the random number generates so let's say that right now we come to this thing right and we're going from one to six and let's say we get a one so that means that now we get a one okay now it's saying that, okay so now you have a one and a one and a one is a two, right? If you take a, a from one, yeah, uh, and then you're going to move up another step, not two steps, but one step, okay? So where are you? Well, your one plus one is two, and that's even. X is even. If X is even, you will have the tail of the fish, and you will have the body of the fish. It doesn't have to move because it stopped right there. That's in the middle of the screen. Then I call, I let it be transparent by 50%. And I told it I don't need a stroke color. I need a fill color. And then I have the opacity. And I put the stroke width back. And then I have my two circles. So suppose now eight, nine. it's going to throw the dice six times. So now it throws the dice again. But this time the random generator is two. So you're going to have two plus one is three. So it's going to say no, x is not even. So you don't do the do, you do the else. And the else is the fish again, you know, the tail and the body. And then we have this uh, this opacity that's for the shadow, right? And then we have an ellipse. And then we have a stroke and a color. And then here we have a line. So what happens fundamentally is if we get a odd number, let's say in the case of, they pick two right here, right? So 2 plus 1, for example, would be 3. If that number is odd, then the eyeball is going to blink. So it's going to come down here and put this line because it jumped over to the else statement. This is the fish again. This is the shadow again. But this particular, with, um, this particular one is going to convert to a line right here. That's why... If if it if it's a if it's an odd number, right? But anyway, it's going to try keep trying six times. Uh, right here, it's uh, going to try from one to six, and it, and then this random rent generator is going to go off, and it'll be adding it at, on its way up to six. And if that number is odd or even, then it'll either do a fish with an eyeball, or it's going to do it a fish with no with a line for an eyeball so that it would look something like this um, so it's start to move up it's going through the loop still remember this has to move up all the way to like six for the center of the ellipse Up. Okay, now uh, after we do that, now 
watch what happens when I get into the next um, well, it's still, I'm still looping but I gotta go up to about 6 with that the center of the ellipse is around 6 then it goes to the next okay so I have uh, a loop inside a loop but this loop here is a 4 and this loop is 1 to 6 but to get, you don't know if you're going to skip from 1 to 2 or skip from 1 to 3. Depends on which number is selected. So reset. Oh, not reset. Step. So I'm going to move forward still. I'm going to start still. Okay, so you can see um, I got everything going. Duration. Yep. And let me check over here. You can see that I have the mic is supposed to be on. Testing one, two, three. Yep, it's on. Okay, I just want to make sure because I get through this whole thing and didn't record my lecture. All right, so now uh, take a look at this. Okay, so this is going to be a count from one to six and random generator. So this is testing to see if that result is odd or even. And if it's even, if it's true that it's even, then we'll put the fish and we'll put the tail and we'll put the fish eye and and we'll put the fish, you know, pupil. Okay. But if we go back around as I'm from one to six and now we get a two again. So we were at uh you know, one plus one is two and now we're adding two to that, so that gives us four. Okay, so we keep it going that way between one and six. So for six times we're spinning, we're throwing heads or tails, where the head is one and the tail is two. And whatever that result is, we'll add to one. So we can go from one to two, or we could go to one to one to three. And then the next one we could go to uh, uh, from three to one, or we can go from three to two. And then we go through here, see? We have all this, like that, do you see it? And so what I'm saying is that this if or else is simply testing for odd or even. If it if it's a case that it's uh, even, that 1 plus 1 is 2 on our way to 6, um, then we're going to do the tail and the, the body. Okay, and then we're going to do opacity, and then we're going to have this ellipse of the shadow. And I have an opa opacity where I'm taking out 50% transparency. I don't want a stroke on the shadow, on the shadow, but I do need some kind of color. And so after I'm done with that ellipse of the shadow, I put my opacity back to one, and my stroke with stroke to two, and then I and then I'm filling up with color there. So you can see it when I go forward. Okay, so depending if it came out out or even. Okay, there, there's a shadow. Okay, but now I'm going to test it out or even. Okay, and okay, so that means it must have come out even because I'm getting my, my eyeball. Okay, so then it's going to do it again. And this time it'll come back up and uh, I should have either a line or a circle again. Uh, the line means blinking, right? If it comes out odd, now it's even. Okay, so that's how I'll do it again. I'll do it four times and see if we get an odd number here this time. Uh, yeah, no, we still didn't get it. God dang it. Now let's try it again. I don't believe this. I'm getting all circles. Shh. What the heck? Uh, now it's going to start moving forward again. Oh, there we go. The blink. The blink. The blink. There it is again. So let's reset and you'll see what happens. It runs and stops at 6. See it? And it stops and then it blinks or not blinks depending on whether odd or even and then it moves forward. Notice my blinking stop. So when I'm stopped at the zero, then you can see I want it to be, uh, at that point, I want to now then release another bubble <laughs> so that it goes up, you know, like up, up to 
the surface. Like a, it burped. <laughs> All right. So what I'll do is I'm gonna pause it right now and then I'll come back here. Let me go back here and I'll just pause it. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. Um, I think what you can see is, well, we have to divide it in pieces. So starting from the very top. Okay, I gave it a stroke color and it with the black. That's why you see the black lines around the, the, the geometries. Okay, then I, I started a quad. And the quad, these two X values are the furthest back end of the tail. Now, um, when I go back to my normal uh, scale, let's go, so I go over here, for example, and um, let's go to 36 by 36. Okay, now uh, when I run it, it's going to look a lot bigger. Right, and let's run it. There we go, see? And it blinks, and then it goes like that. That's That's pretty good. And it's when we started working with it, we started working it off stage, further behind minus twelve, and this has gone mostly off stage. There's still a little bit of shadow, but uh, that's okay. So let's run it again. You can see the shadow going underneath it, and then off it goes. That's pretty cool. Now, what we want to do is be able to uh, get the bubble. To go up and get bigger so we can try that separately and I'll show you how that looks so uh, when I mean separately I mean we're gonna go ahead and do it in the bubble part and then we'll come introduce it to this part so uh, anyway in effect X is counting from minus 12 to 6 so it's gonna go from minus 12 to 6 it's gonna stop at 6 it's gonna blink but but the body itself is stopped it will be blinking until so many blinks have gone by and then it will kick in and then it will start moving forward again so if you look at the, the ellipse here you can see the ellipse is moving with X and so is the quad which is the this whole quad is the tail and the tail is you know, moving with X too but it's readjusting itself because it's further back so you know x is equal to minus 12 and you, if you add another 12 then you're really starting way back at minus 24 and that's why you can't see it so I have to go up to here to kind of like uh, make it so you can start to see it where when it's off stage so that's why I went to a bigger range and domain so uh, you can see when it runs now yeah so uh, I can reset and step Okay, see that tail? That's the quadrilateral. Remember, my x only goes up to minus 12, but this point is minus 24. So that's why I'm saying go minus 24 times x, I mean plus x, well that's, that's already right. Uh, x, it starts at minus 12. You'll see it right here. See it? So minus 12 plus another minus 12, okay, will give you minus 24. And then my Y guy is starting at, uh, okay, so my, my, my Y guy is minus 4. And then the other guy is starting again, again, the second point, which is this point up here. It will be X, you see. It will be X and then uh, also minus 12. And then this part here will be X. Remember, X starts at minus 12, so it will be minus 12 and minus 4 that point is minus 16. It would be minus 16, 2, and this would be minus 16. Oh, 16, see, here it is, minus 16, uh, minus 4. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, my y is 0, and the y is 2. So these two represent these last two points, and these two represent the front, the very back points. Right, so the idea is to know, you know, if, if you're only going to minus 12, you're going to have to take the variable and add or subtract something to it. All right, and then I have my ellipse, which will appear next, see? And so uh, I step there. And there it is. Now notice 
Y is not going to change because we're just moving down the X. So um, I could say, uh, well, in that case, um, I got my minus X. So I'm going to put the center of the um, ellipse. Um, so the center of ellipse will be, well, starting at minus 12, right? Still minus 12. And then you're going to subtract 1. So that means that's going to be at minus 13. That's minus 12, so that must be minus 13. Uh, minus 12. Minus 13. Okay, so minus 13. And then the Y guy is 1. So it's not 0, but 1 up. Okay, and so that X will change, start changing from minus 12 to 6 by steps of 1. Okay, and then uh, I'm going to add a shadow. So when I add a shadow here, I just put the opacity. Well, I put the opacity of 50%, then I put a fill color for the shadow. Then I put an ellipse. And uh, that ellipse is also centered at X equals now that ellipse. Um, I'm talking about the, um, this will be the ellipse right here. Let's go down here so you can see what I'm saying. So we have uh, the quad, the tail, and then we have an ellipse for the shadow. The shadow's down here. Let's see, ready? Here we go. Bingo. See it? The shadow under the fish. And it's going to shadow the fish. <laughs> And then we have the opacity go back to no transparency at all. And I got a stroke width of two. And then I have the circle. Well, the circle is going to be, you know, white. And then the other one, I'll have it at black. That'll be like the pupil. Let's see. Let me step, 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 step. There's the eyeball. And there's the black part of the eyeball. I changed the color. Okay, and it's going to go through that, right? Uh, that loop is going to go back up and around until it goes from minus 12 to 6. Well, from minus 12 to 0 is 12. And from 0 to 6 is 6, so that makes 18. You got it? Good. Okay. Now, um, that's, that's so far there. So all of that is just to get me over to. I'm going to over to the farthest point I'm going to get is x equals 6 which is two, uh, two, four, six right here. And that will be, you know, always, that's where I'll stop. Now, so when I, when that X is equal to six, right, then you say, okay, X equal to six. And I'm going to put my ellipse at X minus six. So now X is two. Okay. So I'm going to go through that. Okay. And then we go, uh, this is interesting because well, I gotta go through all this, and keep clicking until that little fish moves where to to six, and it'll be uh, six one. I think I have it. Uh, the ellipse is six. I think so. Well, I'm gonna like this. I'm moving up, so I'm gonna my I'm gonna do six complete rotations. Okay, now we're going to hit, um, well, we need one, a couple more to hit minus 6, I mean 6. That part of the ellipse has to be over the 6. And then up 1. Okay, one more. And then it'll start into this other one. Okay, now this other one is... Um, Okay, let's see if it flips over there now. Yes, now we're going to do another thing that's going to loop four times. But then we're going to have a counter loop inside that loop. And that counter is going to charge from one by six. And you recall that when we do this, we have to say, okay, one by six. And what kind of steps are you going to take? One or half steps or quarter steps. So if you're taking um, steps one at a time, right, then you'll have from one to six, right, you'll have five steps. But this is not, this is not going up by one. It can either go up by one or go up by two. 
it's a random generator so let's say you're at one the random generator generates from one well then if you think of one plus one two well that's an even number if that's an even number then we're at this if do and if it is even then we're going to do a quad notice that quad is not changing with that because it's just a one pictured quad and then a one picture ellipse right and then I put opacity meaning that I let it be this is for the for the for the shadow so even the shadows coming along I have the opacity set for a half and then I reset it after I do the and, and then I say yeah, opacity is equal to one when I offset it and then stroke I select two so now okay and so if it is even then the end result is you're gonna have eyeball opened eyeball if it's not even in other words let's say that two showed up so now but you're at one well one plus two is three that's odd if it's odd then it's going to go to its uh, to the else and there I have another static picture right it's not moving with X of the quad and the ellipse and then I do the same trick with the opacity for my shadow while I'm being um, surrendered you know like I'm being <laughs> not surrendered but I'm saying we're trying to follow this to to its logical of confusion by by splitting up into sections and so now I'm right at the part where we're just neither going to put a circle or if it's odd it's going to go through all of this including the shadow including the ellipse of the shadow and then we're going to have a stroke of, and then we're going to put in a line the line is going to have the diameter of the circle right and then we put uh, this thing this is just to delay it all we're going to do that four times see the big loop is four times and in those four times we'll be we'll be going from one to six and we'll be jumping either it's one steps at a time or two steps at a time or it can change because it's a random generator got it and that's what takes it to this point where I'm going to start um, going inside okay and then throwing the dice the dice are one or two there's a two-sided dice if that can be imagined okay so then I go to uh, there's the shadow there's the eyeball coming see now it was odd so that's why I got the line now it's going to go back through again see if we're lucky if we got an even one we'll construct an eyeball There's the eyeball and the pupil. Okay, now then it turns out the auto answer was even. So now I can go through that again. Okay, and then all right. When it does that four times, like blinks uh, about four times because the five. There's these are loops inside loops. This is an if do statement, <coughs> and. So let me show you quickly how to use this, I mean, how to set up the if do. So if you go to uh, logic, okay, and then you go here where it says, you see, if do, well, that doesn't have an else to it. But you could create it by going like this, and then you see where it says else? You could put else if or just else and put it over here on the side, this column. Okay, and then. Uh, and that should do it. Let's see. Yeah, you see how now it shows up as, and then click here, it shows as if do and not added else. That's how you generate this this term in here. You got it. So uh, so now we're, the everything's static. It stopped, but not the eyeball. It's either depending whether it comes out odd or even, blink or not. Get rid of this thing here okay so that's all it's doing now I start all over again but instead of starting at minus 24 to go to 6 I'm going to start at x equals 6 and go to 40 that'll take me outside the window and then uh, that's the scene that I use that scene will replace the previous fish it will cover it up 
And so now we have a quadrinal tail that moves just like it even was moving up here. See, with the X. Except where it's at now is not at X is plus minus 12. Now it's different because we're already up at 6. So, um, over here. Okay. So here I have X. Remember now it's equal to 6. And what's 6? Well, 6 plus minus 12. Well, that's going to be a negative 6. So where the quad is now, the back tail right here, that is negative 6 and minus 4. This is negative 6 and plus 4. See, this is negative 6. If you take the x, add it there, and then you'll see where you're at. Here, now, that's for these two ends of the tail. They're connecting to the body. So x, I know it's minus is equal to uh, 6, right? And 6 minus 4, well, that leaves me 2. So x is 2. And y is, um, and there is going to be 2. And then I'll do it again for the other one, and y will be 0. Okay? So now that's going, now that we're on this side, and it's already blinked, when we go forward, we have to have it track x2. Track it as well. So that is for the tail, right? But this right here, this tracking, that's for the tail, but this is for the body of the fish. Uh, no, not this is the shadow. <laughs> and then remember, and then this is the line. Uh, right here it says, no, no, no line. These are the circles for the eyes. And they're going to travel with X too. So everything should stay together after I'm bent through. This is like the third major stage. And when I run it, see... Yeah. Okay, now let me take it back to scale. Okay, so we're going to go back to scale. I'm going to go to 36, 36, okay. So now these parts will be off stage when I reset. There we go. You see? There we go. I mean, where it's stationary you know where it stops in the middle of course I'd like to know about that property because uh, that would be interesting <laughs> yeah anyhow so what I want to do now is where it stops which is right here not only do I want it to blink but I want it to let, let a bubble come out and that's what we're going to be working on next to do the bubble and then we'll add it to here and we got a pretty good scene going I think in order to do a complete project, we need a, like another thing look like it's happening at the same time, called a no block. So let's say you could launch a torpedo at something or whatever, and then uh, I don't know why it's a torpedo, but um, here you go. You, if you want, you can take out the axes here, and you can even take out. Well, that was a grid. You take out something. Now it looks like a peaceful. Here comes my favorite goldfish. It's more like a minnow. Minnows look like that. Uh, right. Okay, so uh, next we'll be doing this uh, this circle thing. Let's see how we're doing on the recording. Okay, so I got about 40 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, upload this, and then we'll uh, you work on your projects if you're, once you're finished with this and see if you can get it stage at a time towards what I've done. And um, there's also a tutorial here on Robo Bakley where you have to adjust X, but also you can see the rest of the coding. All right, so let me stop that.